Good day, everybody. I hope y'all had a terrific Thursday. My Thursday was pretty good. Pretty good, I guess. I mean, uh, I got some potentially disappointing news. Uh, so I volunteered at the library today. Um, so I went in. I was doing the things I normally do. And I got pulled aside by the lady who basically is in charge of the circulation people um, and the volunteers who help out there too and she was one of the ones that went in the interview and the one that really wants me to get the job as a page and she said it went really things went really well but she said unfortunately someone who has quite a bit more experience significantly more experience <laughs> at library than me um, part of me is thinking, but for a page position where you don't need any experience. But anyway, um, she said that it's likely that due to her experience, she's going to get the position and not me. Nothing guaranteed yet. Nothing's official yet. So she was just giving me kind of, I guess, a little bit of a heads up. Um, give me some advice for if it happens again, what the right things and wrong things are to say. She said it a good job, but there was... One thing that I said regarding my availability that she said I really shouldn't have said. And not sure if it had any impact at all on whether I got it or not because this other person who's being considered has a lot more experience than me. Maybe that's the reason. But she said she fought for it and and really wants me to get a job there. And doesn't want me to lose doesn't want to lose me or anything like that. So um, it might just be a bit more waiting. And if that's what's gotta be, that's what's gotta be. I'm not going to give up on this. Um, so, I did the usual things I did. First, I did the holds, like usual, with the names down, put them in order on the shelves that are behind the circulation desk for quick and easy pickup for the holds, and then I did a holds list. So I got done with that right at 3 o'clock. If you recall, last week I said I got done at like 4 because it was a whole lot of them. This time there was a little less than usual. So I got done right at 3 o'clock putting them on the shelves like just a couple minutes after 3 o'clock actually so they gave me a holds list it was like 22 pages long but I'm getting really fish efficient at doing that stuff so I basically I did everything except nonfiction in those two hours got everything in except the nonfiction and then the 5 o'clock list was due to print so I went back asked, her, asked them to print the 5 o'clock list um, so they pulled it up I went in I compared it to the 3 o'clock list took out all the ones that I knew were there and I'd already gotten or weren't there and I already checked and saw that they weren't there and so it was going to be the same answer so rather than waste the time and waste the paper um, I went in I, dele I deleted all the ones that I'd already done and that switched the 22 pages and with cutting out all the ones I'd already gotten um, some of them were missing it was going to be a smaller list but it was probably close it was probably around 10 to 12 pages long and I was able to cut it down getting rid of extra excess spaces and things and making sure they're all lined up on the page right and everything and all the ones that I'd already gotten weren't on there I got it down from 22 pages to 6 pages so it was quick easy and painless and from a little after 5 o'clock until a little after 6.30 I did the new 5 o'clock list which included me running basically all around the whole library at first to get all the ones in the sections that I'd already done but there were less so it was a lot faster and then finally got to the nonfiction went through those in a nice orderly fashion nice quick and easy and the left of 630 like I said finished that came home had dinner at home we had family night it was my choice I was going to choose Clue which oddly enough for some reason we've only played Clue once since I've been back from Spain over a year ago. Um, no, no, since Christmas, since I got the new version of the game, the new thing. And since I made up the new um, Clue scorecards, or not scorecards, but like notepads, the way I did and laminated them, I need to get some dry erase markers that we can use. Because <laughs> well, the one time that we played it, after I got everything put together, um, we we didn't have any dry erase markers, so we used the little ones that came in the Likewise game, 
and they were all like running out of ink and dying and wasn't working the way we wanted it to. So we need to go and get like a six pack of those so that we can keep it just with Clue and use them when we're going to use them, basically. Did that, then hung out over at the house for a little while, pulled up some random videos. I went over some of the videos I used my first year in Spain with the high school kids um, that I showed illustrating differences in um, British English and American English and what uh, American English sounds like to non-native non English speakers. If they don't know the language, this is what it would sound like because all the words are nonsense to them. So it was someone speaking in an American accent, a ge very general American accent, acting out a scene which you could figure out what was going on in the scene pretty easily. Um, using a few random words thrown here or there, words that people will pick up on pretty quickly. That most people are going to know these words in English regardless of knowing English or not. And then a whole bunch of nonsense. And it's it's interesting to see something like that. And kind of take, I guess, maybe throws a little bit of um, understanding into the eyes of people who don't speak another language at all and uh, get lost in that. But to hear it illustrated into your own language that way and see that's what other people hear when they're trying to learn English and they don't understand English yet. It's pretty eye-opening and pretty cool and I showed it to my students kind of as a trick to see if they would lie and say they could understand it or whatever because they could figure out what was happening in the scene but would they actually be able to figure out exactly what was being said and aside from those few words which were used in the appropriate way for context um, the rest of it was nonsense. And so a few other videos I popped up, like, and I showed them this video, and I showed them this video, and I was showing my mom and sister that. Um, that's it, and then I came back over here. So hopefully the library thing will pan out. Like I said, it's not official, so maybe things will change, and it'll still come in my direction. If not, it's just a matter of waiting. But i got to work the next two nights, afternoon and nights, at Planet Smoothie. Um, next week's schedule is a lot more sparse, so I worked... This week I worked Monday night. I opened, or I worked Monday in the mids, a uh, mid on Monday. Then I um, opened on Wednesday. I closed on Friday, Saturday, and the next week I closed on Monday, and then nothing until Saturday, where I work another mid. So hopefully people will be like, oh, I don't feel like working. Let's hit Nathan up. I sent a I sent a text out to everyone who got the schedule, and saying, hey, if anyone wants to not work on Wednesday or Friday. Um, and they need to figure someone out to come and take their spot to hopefully contact me first as the first person to come in and of course hopefully the mid would be the one to do it and hopefully not the Wednesday opener <laughs> or Friday opener does it like really late or really early when they're supposed to be going because that would be a bit of a stretch then for me to make it on time if that were to be the case blah I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm trying to say, and I should probably just end it here, so I will. Good night, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.